Hello everybody, so there's some breaking news I wanted to cover. This is going to be either late in the night for those in the US or early in the morning for those in Europe, like myself. Anyway, so according to the New York Times, the US and Russia are going to continue their negotiations that have happened recently uh, regarding whether or not the US is going to expand eastward and whether or not Russia is going to go to Ukraine, otherwise known as the highest likelihood of there being a full-scale war that the US will inevitably enter into. So the disagreements that are happening right now is regarding whether or not NATO, mostly the U.S., is going to expand eastward into the Russian-controlled areas or not. Right now, Russia has 100,000 soldiers stationed on the border of Ukraine, and they threaten to move their nuclear weapons closer, strategically closer to the U.S., kind of like the Cuban Missile Crisis. So obviously, there's quite the issue going on. I have to talk quick because my battery is about to die here. Uh... Right now, the EU said they're going to threaten sanctions and potentially threaten sanctions or cut off access to some sort of a pipeline between Germany and uh, the, I was about to say Soviet Russia, Russia, bear with me here, it's again, it's a little early in the morning. And uh, what's really important to understand here is that the US has strategized this for quite some time moving eastward to the point where there's military documents that I had read approximately almost two years ago right now. And essentially the US military, before discussing from Biden, discussing leaving Afghanistan, the US military said they wanted to leave Afghanistan and push towards the Indo-Pacific region to challenge Russia and China on the East and on the West. And so Russia obviously had taken note about this. Now, what can we expect moving forward? Uh, I do think that the negotiations might subside some tensions to an extent. I think that Russia will probably not move their nuclear weapons towards the US, if I were to guess off the top of my head. Um, I do think Russia will continually station troops on the border of Ukraine. I do not think they're going to cross into Ukraine, or at least a full-scale war. They might have some skirmishes on that border. That's just coming from me who studies this. But to be honest, that's a complete guess on my behalf because it's very unclear how the rest of the world's going to react with the US's new strategy of leaving specific countries, for example, Afghanistan, and whether or not they're going to try to seize on that opportunity or not. So anyway, that's my best guess. What do you guys think? Anyway, leave a comment below. It boosts the algorithm. I appreciate it. I'm gonna start again covering, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, I'm gonna start covering breaking news and start making videos on a regular basis now that I have a good schedule down. Thank you very much.